The problem with GHB is, is that once you do a little bit too much or the, if the potency of the GHB is, is a little bit higher, then somebody can pass out on GHB. Hello everybody, my name is Pej. I'm the drug interventionist. I specialize in helping people with drug addiction, alcoholism, and mental health. Today we're going to talk about GHB, gamma hydroxybutyrin. What is GHB? So GHB is a strength enhancer, a euphoria, and also an aphrodisiac. That's right, an aphrodisiac. A lot of people use GHB because it makes them, you know, feel a way of sorts and definitely sexual desires depending on the amount that you take. There are a lot of bodybuilders that are just avid fans of GHB. They love it because it, it relaxes their muscles after major working out sessions. But truth be told, GHB got really, really popular in the, in the club scene, in the music scene, in the rave scene. I experienced uh, GHB very much so in the late 80s, early 90s. The way that it comes, usually it's, it's uh, produced and, and sold in water bottles. A lot of people like to have a lot of it, you know, extra on hand, but you're not even supposed to take a lot of it. When you actually take it, you just pour it into a bottle cap, you take one shot of that, and that's supposed to, you know, level you and make you feel like you are in that euphoric state that it actually puts you in. And uh, to some, it is known to be like liquid ecstasy. Others have misused GHB. It's been used as a date rape drug. Sometimes people will take GHB and they'll put it into somebody's drink. It's very lethal and deadly if it is drank with alcohol. So often somebody will be drinking, you know, just a regular beverage and somebody will put some GHB in it without them knowing and then they'll take advantage of them. Uh, it makes people feel, you know, like they are in a very, very blissful state where they they just, you know, they, they, they want to relax, they, they're happy, go lucky, they're even sexual, their, their inhibitions definitely uh, get raised and they want to do certain things with people that they wouldn't regularly do. It's not a drunken state, it's more, like I said, liquid ecstasy, so it's, it's just sort of like uh, euphoric, it's majorly euphoric, like you just, you feel very loving, caring, you want to caress, you want to be held, and so GHP one when taken in certain dosages can keep you, you know, in a very blissful state. Now, the problem with GHB is, is that once you do a little bit too much or the, if the potency of the GHB is, is a little bit higher, then uh, somebody can pass out on GHB and that would be, you know, basically overdosing on GHB. Now, not overdosing in the sense where they could die right away, as some people might do to uh, opiates and things like that if they overdose on those types of drugs. But this is, uh, you go into a deep, deep sleep-like state to the point where you are just passed out on GHB and, and your body becomes like dead weight and you can't even move. And if somebody else tries to move you, then your body's like dead weight. You just can't even, it, it's very hard to, to get somebody to get out of that state of GHB. Usually when they are passed out on GHB, when, when an individual is passed out on GHB, it usually lasts about four hours. Four hours of just like a, a deep, deep sleep. And, uh, and that's uh, what GHB will do to you. So are GHB and roofies the same? No, they're actually much, they're very different. I mean, they have a similar effect on people depending on, you know, when they, they put you in a position to where you, you don't, you're not really coherent of your surroundings. So that's why a lot of people will misuse roofies in the same sense that they would misuse GHB. Uh, roofies are you know, used both in, in the club scene, in the college scene. People will roofie people with GHB is very much a club drug. A lot of people like to use GHB either while at the club or later on in the night after doing other drugs when they're coming down and they're relaxing or they're in an after party, for example. A lot of people like doing GHB just to like level themselves for the next few hours. But no, GHB and roofies are not the same thing. Is GHB dangerous? GHB is very dangerous. Um, I mean, you never really know who you're getting it from, who has worked on it, who's, what level of potency is in it. There's been some GHB that was called fire water way back in the day, where it was high powered. I mean, just high powered. It would make you have episodes in certain situations that could happen where you don't even realize that you're doing them right when it's happening. But in, like I said, you're not in a drunken state, but you are in a very mind warped type of state to where you may do things you may not remember and uh, you might regret and, and end up getting some consequences. So it is dangerous also, it's dangerous just health wise, like uh, not to say like it could kill you, but definitely if it's mixed with alcohol, it is dangerous in that sense because then yes, possibility of death could happen, but GHB is very dangerous. So GHB can stay in your system, you know, for a number of hours, sometimes for a whole evening or even until the next day, depending again on how much you're taking. If you just do one or two shots of GHB, 
it'll probably not stay in your system that long. The high of GHB lasts about anywhere from, you know, half an hour to an hour, sometimes even longer, depending. Sometimes it's timeless. You don't really know how long your eye on it for. So some people will feel really good depending on the potency of it. And then, you know, once they start to come down, they, they just want to do more and more. And so again, like it's, it, there's not a determined amount of time of how long it stays in your system. It could be anywhere from a few hours to a, a day. So if you know somebody who is struggling with GHB or you yourself are, please do not hesitate to call us because we are here to help you. This is definitely a drug that a lot of people become dependent upon. It's not something that a lot of people get, you know, addicted to for a long period of time, but there are people that do get addicted to it for long periods of time. So if you or somebody is struggling, please, by, by all means, just contact me. You can call this number.